respiratory educator. The condition chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is often referred to as chronic bronchitis or emphysema. Chronic means that the condition will not go away, but it can be controlled. Obstructive means that the airways have become narrow or are damaged. Pulmonary disease means that it is a condition of the respiratory system, the lungs. COPD is most likely caused by smoking. It can also be caused by secondhand smoke, air pollution at work or in the environment, or recurrent childhood lung infections. COPD can also be caused by a rare genetic disorder called alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. The diagnosis of COPD can be made through breathing tests called spirometry, by chest x-ray, or through blood work, ABGs. COPD can be made worse with chest infections, in cold weather, or with poor air quality. It is important during these times to have proper treatment and self-care. This will help you get better quicker. Improving your lifestyle is the best thing you can do if you have COPD. Ask your family doctor, lung specialist, or other healthcare professional about a treatment plan for you. Also ask your family doctor about a personalized COPD action plan. As part of your treatment plan, it will be important to take your inhalers and other medications as prescribed, to get 30 minutes of exercise most days of the week, to maintain your weight, eat a balanced diet, avoid smoking, limit your alcohol intake, and maintain good sleep habits. Ask your family doctor about a pulmonary rehabilitation program in your community. And now I will talk about the different inhaled medications and devices and how to use them properly. Some people refer to them as puffers or inhalers. The puffers that are sprayed from a metal pressurized canister are called metered dose inhalers or MDIs. The discus, turbihaler, handihaler, and breezehaler are dry powdered inhalers or are called DPIs. There are three types of inhaled medications, anti-inflammatories, bronchodilators, and a combination of both an anti-inflammatory and a bronchodilator. Anti-inflammatories are medications that decrease the inflammation in the airways. It is important that these medications are taken daily. Bronchodilators open up the airways. These medications can be taken regularly or as needed. Combination inhalers, which combine both an anti-inflammatory and a bronchodilator, are reserved for patients with severe symptoms or who have frequent lung attacks. The inhalers are color-coded, so if you cannot remember the name of your inhaler, you can generally identify it by its color. It will be important for you to know the strength or dose of your inhaler and how often you should be taking it. Don't stop taking your medications or change the number of puffs without talking to your doctor first. 